If you're interested in the Sherwin-Williams color pearly white, then you stumbled upon the perfect YouTube video. We're a channel all about everything related to painting and decorating. And today our focus is on SW7009. Today you're gonna find out all you need to know about this paint color, including some technical information like how light it actually is, maybe some ways to use it in your home, and most importantly, I'm also going to introduce some other paint colors that you can pair alongside it to put together a wonderful color palette for your home. If that sounds like something you'd be into, then stick around and maybe tap that like button for me because that's always fun. We couldn't do today's video without our good friends over at Mighty Boards, who are continuously making our favorite tester boards ever. If you've ever made the mistake of buying the wrong paint color, but only realizing it after you've painted your entire hallway, then now you know, hopefully, the importance of properly testing out your colors before buying your paint. Mighty Boards are large, flexible tester boards that you can slap a couple coats on, and then you have yourself a wonderfully large tester board that you can take a look at in your home. It's very important that you do this because you don't want to rely on the lighting conditions of the paint store you're browsing at or that image you saw on the internet. I can't stress enough how important it is to get a nice big sample that you can look at in the room that you're planning to paint and Mighty Boards can help you do that. Pick up some Mighty Boards and some tester paint, give them at least two coats just to make sure it's fully covered and you're ready to go. Let your local paint store know about Mighty Boards so they can carry them for you and all of your lovely neighbors because they're awesome. And so are you. I mean, maybe your neighbors aren't that awesome, but that's not for me to say. As always, I'll have Mighty Boards information down in the description below for your reference. So let's talk about pearly white specifically. This is a paint color that was requested by one of you. So please feel free to keep making those requests because because it does help me a lot. After all, I only wanna talk about the colors that you wanna hear about. So what kind of color is pearly white? The answer is, well, it must be white, right? You could say that it's a variation of white, commonly referred to as an off-white, and that's because it has some noticeable coloration to it that a pure stark white would not have. Also, there are maybe a few white paint colors in all of paint that I would call truly stark, but even still, it's pretty much impossible to have an absolutely pure bright white, technically speaking. There will always be some variation or nuance, especially when you're going from color to color and even company to company. Pearly White has an LRV of 77, which tells us how light it is, or depending on how you look at it, how off-white it is. LRV stands for light reflectance value, which is super important information. It basically tells us that this color in particular reflects 77% of the light that hits it. The lighter a paint color is, the more light it reflects, which means it'll have that higher LRV. There are some white paint colors that go all the way up to the low 90s, and those ones are extremely bright. So 77 in comparison is actually a little bit dark for a white paint. In practical use, pearly white shouldn't feel dark in almost any circumstance. Even though it's an off-white, it's soft and neutral enough that it does a pretty good job at behaving the way a normal white paint would. You don't have a very strong saturation or coloration to deal with. The undertones are fairly balanced as well, and it gives this color a very easy and pleasant appearance. Now, similar to an actual pearl or a pearlescent finish, pearly white can sometimes show two different sides of itself, depending on the situation. Technically, when you just look at it. Just look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It seems to be a little more towards the warm side of neutral. We're not dealing with a bluey gray here. It has a beige quality to it, and even has a little bit of a brown coloration to it too. But curiously, this color was part of the Sherwin-Williams Cool White color collection. So why is that? I think a big reason for this is sometimes pearly white can show the slightest bit of a green undertone, especially in areas that have a lot of cooler light, which again, just further explains and reiterates the importance of testing colors. I'm not just chatting nonsense here, y'all. I wouldn't go as far as to say that this color is a greeny beige or a greenage, as I like to call it, but it does have the possible green undertone that can show up from time to time. I still think it's a color that is neutral enough where you can have have it carry throughout an entire space. Totally a good choice for a main color for your home. 
where you can kind of build a palette off of it. For example, you can have this as your hallway color and then switch things up in your different rooms that are sort of separated by a door. Now, which colors go with it, you ask? Well, not to worry because I have put together a color palette that you can explore alongside pearly white. That includes another white paint color, one that is even whiter than pearly white, and then three other colors ranging from light to dark that can give your whole color scheme some variety and depth. So let's start with that white paint color we got, which is called pure white. It's another curious name because I would actually argue it's not totally pure. It has this slightly crisp, cool appearance in comparison. But pure white is also another paint color that can have the slightest hint of yellow and gray, which can sometimes push colors into slight green territory, but it won't be nearly as noticeable in this case because it's just so much brighter and lighter. What's cool is when you have pearly white next to pure white, you really start to see a little more of that natural warmth in pearly white coming through because of that stark contrast with a much lighter and brighter pure white. The two don't necessarily have that ideal amount of contrast I normally like to see in paint colors, which is at least a 10 LRV difference, but at least you have a difference in undertones that help them pop off one another. Now, if you're a little bit questionable of that slight bit of green and pearly white, you can camouflage it by introducing another paint color with a lot more prominent green, something like nonchalant white. Yes, another white that is not actually white. This color is a light, dusty kind of tea green, I guess you could say, and it has the softest amount of beige to warm it up a little bit. When you pair it with pearly white, what you end up having is a green and a beige of very desaturated qualities, but it's the difference in their coloration that makes them kind of catch your eye. It's really awesome how they complement each other in a way. They both have similar levels of darkness being in the 70s LRV wise, so you can not interchange them in different areas where each color might suit a space better. The mid-tone choice I wanna go for is a little more towards the brown aspect of pearly white in the form of a taupe called Colonnade Gray. Hopefully I pronounced that right. I honestly never know. For those of you watching that maybe haven't heard of the word taupe before, I'm proud to introduce it to you, but essentially just think of it as a combination of gray and brown, which is a very pleasant to use deep neutral that is earthy and it's grounded. And I find it really suits a lot of design styles, whether you're a little more traditional, transitional, modern, even coastal, farmhouse, whatever. There's a lot you can do with a taupe like Colonnade Gray. And even though it has a lot more depth than the other colors we talked about, it's also a color that feels very grounded and purposeful. So those more open areas that maybe get a lot of light or those closed in areas where you want that noticeable dark neutral, this is the perfect color for those situations. For the dark color pairing, I ended up going with a paint color that has been circulating a little bit recently. It's a little bit trendy, not gonna lie, but I really like how it complemented the other colors here. It's called Reddened Earth, and it ends up being a mix of dark brown and red with a little bit of gray. It's sort of a clay color that is dynamic, but still cozy and inviting. It's also a color you don't need to think of as just a small accent color because it's sort of based on brown, so you can more easily use it on the walls in an entire room for a bit of a subtle statement that you shouldn't really get tired of within a couple months, like, uh, I don't know, spaghetti green. Is that a color? There's another kind of red color that is really popular nowadays. It's the Sherwin-Williams Color of the Year Red and Point which we did a video on right over here. And I encourage you to check it out because it's kind of a polarizing choice. <laughs> See you in the next one.